What's going on everybody? It's the Creative Fro checking back in for another episode of Fireside Tech. I hope you enjoyed your week and already learned something new because today we're going to be showing you how to turn your mobile device into a professional recording device. If you didn't get a chance to see this past Wednesday, we posted a video going over the different techniques you'll want to keep in mind when trying to create a professional looking image using your mobile device. So today I'll show you how you can use your phone to create professional looking videos. And you might notice a little scenery change here for Fireside Tech. And we're doing some renovations around the place here and moving things around. So for the meantime, we'll be using the creative space to create Fireside Tech until we're back in front of the fire again. But before we dive into today's tutorial, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button if you have yet to already and also turn that notification bell on just for fun. So a few things to keep in mind before you press the record button is you're gonna to wanna to think of the destination of the video. Is this going to go on Instagram? If so, Instagram is a vertical platform. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure you record everything vertically like this. Or if you'd like to post this content on LinkedIn, YouTube, or Facebook, you wanna record horizontally because all those platforms use the aspect ratio 1920 by 1080. That's normally how we see the videos on those platforms and on TV as well. Now diving into the camera settings for the iPhone, and this goes specifically for the iPhone XR, but I'm sure most mobile devices are gonna have the same kind of settings. So you wanna go into settings, and then we're gonna scroll down and find our camera button. And now this is where you wanna choose your aspect ratios, the frame rates and stuff like that. So let's go from the top and work our way down. At the top here, you can see I have the grid on, and this is good because if you have this grid on, you're gonna be able to make sure you're in the rule of thirds, and this is gonna ensure that your framing is proper. Scan QR codes, that's not really for this video today, so we don't have to worry about that. Now we're gonna click this little button here, record video. And we wanna make sure that we're recording at 30 frames per second. And this is the closest we can get to 24 frames per second without going into 4K. You can shoot 4K, but depending on how much storage you have left on your phone, this might really run up the storage fast. So I'd suggest shooting in 1080 at 30 frames, but if you do have that extra space, I would recommend shooting at 4K at 24 frames per second. And that way you're gonna get a higher quality image and you're gonna be able to crop into the image in post and you won't lose any resolution. So it's up to you whether you have storage or not, either choose 1080 at 30 or 4K at 24 frames. And that's all we have to worry about for today's video. So I just went in and looked at my storage and I actually do have a fair amount of storage left. So for today's tutorial, to make this look the highest quality, I'm gonna choose 4K at 24 frames per second. But don't worry if you don't have the space, just choose 1080p HD at 30 frames per second. So we'll change that now and I'm gonna head back and we're gonna skip over record stereo sound and go into the formats here. And this is where you're gonna to wanna to make sure that most compatible is checked off because this is gonna make sure when you put onto the computer that your computer will recognize it and that way you don't have to put it in a third party program and compress it down to a file that your computer can recognize. So if you choose most efficient, you're gonna have the least amount of hassle in post-production. So now that our camera settings are all set to go on our mobile, device it's time to jump behind the camera to show you how you can get better audio while shooting with the mobile device so right now we have our camera recording without the microphone and this is how it sounds it's not too bad this can get the job done but if you're looking to step it up a notch here's with the zoom iq7 so this is how the camera sounds with the zoom iq7 attached to it and this should sound a lot better than the last video too as well because now we have this external microphone recording and it should make the sound a lot more crispier and i'll pop up the prices that it goes for if you're looking to get this mic to enhance your audio for your mobile recordings. Okay, so now we have our headphones plugged into the phone and this should sound a little bit better. I'm not too sure exactly how it sounds because I've never really recorded with the headphones, but I do know this is a cheaper option to go with if you do not want to invest into something like the Zoom IQ7 or a bigger microphone setup that you'd have to match up and post later. And right now you're hearing this audio with the Yeti microphone. This is an external microphone normally used for podcasts and stuff like that. But if you want to give your video this kind of look by shooting with a microphone right here and get that crispy audio, that might work for yourself. This can be a lot to set up and a lot harder to really match up and post. So you might not want that extra work and this might not be the best for you. But if you want to spend the money, this is a really great option to get because you're going to have this microphone that you can use for many other things. And you can also record or voiceovers for projects too as well. So I'd recommend getting this if this is something you would wanna use for more than just recording with a mobile device. Now that we have better audio, it's time to move over to the visual. And for all those clips I recorded before, I was using a handheld style. So if you wanna lock down and make it a little bit more sturdy, and this makes your video look more professional too as well, I'd suggest you get a mini Gorilla tripod with 
an attachable head that you can put your phone in. So this is an old cell phone piece that I had from a previous tripod that I just put on this mini gorilla pod. So right now, what I'm gonna do is get this set up here and it has a little level. So if you have a level on yours, you wanna make sure that it is centered. Now we can lock in our phones. Let's just do a little comparison side by side. Make sure the legs are sturdy. It takes a little extra work, but this is what makes sure that your video looks professional because you took the time to make sure that's leveled out. These legs are a little old, so they like to move on me here. Let's see if I put it like that. So now let's do a little comparison between our handheld shot compared to our stabilized shot. So I'm gonna turn on the video recording here. This is your mini gorilla pod. This is probably a cheaper option you can go with if you're looking to stabilize your mobile video. If you do not want to go with this mini gorilla pod, the next option is you can upgrade to a bigger tripod, a full tripod. So right now that's what the camera's shooting on. So I'll switch out this camera and I'll put the phone onto this tripod so you can see how it can balance to as well. So now we've taken the camera off of the tripod and I left the head on from the mini gorilla pod to put onto the tripod here. So let's just tighten this up now. You can mount this vertically too as well. You're just gonna have to take the extra time to flip this upside down. So now I know I'm gonna be sitting here so let's move this this way and make sure we're leveled. And this is gonna give you great stabilization rather than getting the mini tripod, you can get a full tripod and you'll be able to use it for your mobile device. And if you have a camera, you can use it for your camera too as well. So it's very versatile. So now last option, if you don't have a mini tripod or a full tripod, you can set up your mobile device on the table or any flat platform that won't be moving around while you're doing your recording. I've left this little attachment at the bottom so it makes it easier to hold down or say I were to put it in my little cabinet here, this one might look better. So here's how the recording looks when it's just placed down on a flat platform. But let's just say you don't have this bottom part and you only have your cell phone. The next best thing you could do is either get a bottle or any other item and lean it against that item. And now you can see the shots are just as stable as we had earlier. And don't forget if you're doing Instagram, pop it vertically and there you go. So now it's time to talk about lighting. And this is probably gonna be one of my most pricey suggestions for lighting, but right now I'm using the Aperture 120D and I'm standing right in front of it and I have my camera set up on the mini tripod and I'm holding it to stabilize this a little better. So that's another suggestion going back to the stabilization. You can pick up your tripod and it's not gonna be as shaky as holding it with your hand and without this little extended support. So that's another good option for you, but you can tell this lighting is really good. You can see in my eyeballs, the light is coming through. So it's getting that little bit of catch light. So it helps the image look a lot more professional. Now for a cheaper option, let's switch out this light and use this light back here as our main light. So as you can see right here, I have this Aperture Mini and I'm gonna move it up a little bit more so it's not in the way as I'm speaking. And now this is an awesome cheaper option you can go with without breaking the bank on the Aperture 120D Mark II. This is gonna give you a professional quality light. Just have it off to the left or right side and this is gonna bring you a lot more light in your video compared to if it was off like this. So now you can see that's the light off and here's with it on. Bingo. That's another option you can use to step up your lighting. Let's look at that last option. Now, right now I'm using the natural window lighting. This is gonna be your cheapest lighting that you can go with. And since it's a little bit later in the day, we don't have as much light coming in. So I'd suggest doing this a little bit more earlier when there's more light out. That way you're gonna get a lot more crispier looking image without having to spend any money at all on any external lighting. And it's pretty dark too as well, but you could tell as I move closer, the light gets a lot better. So up to you on what you wanna use. There's a few different options to go through. This is a light from Home Depot. This one for about $10 here and I have an LED light bulb. I'm not gonna point it directly inside there, but that was about five or so. So this is a $15 light setup that you could try to use. So let me get in front of the camera so you can see how it looks. Right now we have our Home Depot $15 light setup and this is very bright. Um, it might not be something you want to use directly. So if I go off to the side here, you can see it looks a little bit nicer. It's falling on my body better, but at the same time, we're getting a lot of contrast on the side here. Very shadowy and too bright here. So let's soften up this light. We'll move it back first of all. 
since it's so powerful and you can't really control these Home Depot lights. And this is a better look. It's still not the greatest, but a lot better if you weren't to have any external lighting at all. Now what I'll do is I'll just soften it up a little bit and you'll see the difference. You might be wondering what I just did to the light, but all I did was toss a little $5 um, shower curtain I got from Walmart. As you can see the little holes there for the shower. And this is gonna soften up our light. Let's get in front of it again. And as you can see, this is our softened light. It's still a little hard, but with this diffusion, it makes it a lot more smoother and there's not so much shadows on this side and not so hot on this side anymore. So that's another option if you want a $20 light setup, go to Home Depot and grab that little outside. Not too sure what it's called, that little silver thing, but if you go to Home Depot, you'll see it there. Ask for some help, maybe show them this video. Get yourself an LED light bulb and a shower curtain and you have some diffused light. I'll double wrap it so it's over the light source again. So what I've done is I just wrapped it over the light again so we have double the diffusion. And this is how it looks with two layers of diffusion over that Home Depot light. And I really like how this looks. I might even use this for a normal setup. I don't think our clients would really feel too satisfied with hiring us if we show up with using a shower curtain and some Home Depot lights. But if you're trying to get that professional look, nobody's gonna see this light. You can get this set up for your mobile device and start shooting like a pro today. Let's get back in front of the backdrop and wrap this video up. And there you have it. That's audio, visual, and lighting to enhance your mobile device to make that footage look professional. Keep these three techniques in mind before you hit that record button. And also don't forget what the platform you're gonna be posting that content on. So if it's Instagram, you wanna tape vertically. If it's YouTube, LinkedIn, or any other platform, you're gonna to wanna to do 1920 by 1080. So now that you know these tips, go out there, start using your mobile device, and start recording that professional quality video. Please like this video if you did. Comment down below if there's anything you wanna see for Fireside Tech and share this video if you think it can help anybody. I hope you enjoy your upcoming week and crush it. I can't wait to see you next Sunday. Maybe we'll be back in front of that fire again, but if not, we'll be in the creative space, so don't worry about it. It's a creative fro, and I'm out. I don't know why it sounds like this. You don't have to hold it at all. So